Great is the Lord and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. We welcome you that are listening on our conference line and those that are watching via our YouTube channel, Agape Web TV. We honor you this day that the Lord has made. And the Bible says we are to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is a new day, a new chance, a new opportunity to give God praise. So halfway through the day, amen, at this noon hour or whenever you view on this, amen, we're going to give God praise, honor, and glory. We're going to ask you to turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms. Amen. We're going to go to the 90th Psalms today. Amen. Talking to, the, to you from the word of God and uh, allowing God to move and bless and deliver us. Amen. At this noonday hour. Amen. I want to give you a word of encouragement. Amen. This day, whatever your day is bringing. Amen. Hallelujah. Know that God is with you uh, and he's on your side, no matter what it is, no matter what the problem is. God is on your side. Amen. The, the, the Psalms, the book of Psalms is divided. Amen. Into into five books, just like the Pentateuch. Amen. The first five books of the Bible, the book of Moses, the law of Moses. Amen. And the 90th Psalms is the beginning of the fourth book. Amen. Of uh, Fourth section of the book of Psalms. Amen. It's the third Psalm, a prayer of Moses, the man of God, a foretold of, of the eternity of God. It's important for believers to know, amen, that we are human. Amen. And to understand we are in our humanity and God is in his divinity. He's our, he's the divine God of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, uh, even in our situations, we can know, <coughs> excuse me, we can know that God is able to deliver, to move, to bless, to make ways out of no way and to open doors that seem closed. So here in the 90th Psalms, we, re we hear this read a lot at funerals. Amen. But it's beyond death. It's, it's more about life than death amen it's, and it reads in psalms 90 lord thou has been our dwelling place in all generations hallelujah uh, from generation to generation thou art god he's been here uh he is alpha he's omega he's the first he's the last he which was is and is to come the almighty god lord i don't know hallelujah the control of my life the rule of my daily living amen thou has been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or even thou hast formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art God thou turnest man to destruction and says return ye children of men hallelujah and whenever we think we're gonna do the right thing whenever we see if it seems like we are going down the right path it's a road of destruction if we're not following God if God's not with us down that path it's a path of destruction. Hallelujah. So he turned his man to destruction. Man really turns to his own destruction and say, come back home. Come back to God. Hallelujah. Four verses for a thousand years in thy sight are about as a yesterday when it is past. And as a watch in the night, thou carries them away as the flood, as a flood. <coughs> they are as a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourish and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath. We are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all thy days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And by reason of strength, they are four score years. If God gives you more. Amen. Yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we what? Fly away. We are feeble. David, when he was upset over there, amen. I believe in the 31st Psalms, he said, while I was musing, the fire burned. Say, said, Lord, let me know my end, the number of my days, that I might know how frail I am. Hallelujah. We need to understand that we are physical. We are carnal, but God is spiritual. God is eternal. Hallelujah. And so we do, we call to him. Hallelujah. We call for him for deliverance. We call for him for healing. So teach me the, the, the 12th verse says of Psalms 90. So teach me to number our days. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. So we can understand our feebleness and our, our temporary, amen, dwelling place here 
Amen. Then we can understand and know that God, thou has been our dwelling place. You are our rock. You are our strength. You are our salvation. You are our structure, our stability. Agape, y'all know I always tell the, the family of God, uh, amen, we don't have structure in our life because we won't receive instruction. We need instruction to have structure. Amen. If you don't have structure, your life becomes destructive, lacking structure. And so there's no, there's no stability in your life. And so if God has been your dwelling place and the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. If you with God, he said, if I be for you, I'm more than the whole world that is against you. And so it's so important for believers to know that he has been our dwelling place. And even if we're in this world and we're going about our day to day, we're trying to aspire to be great things. There's nothing wrong with getting an education and there's nothing wrong with, amen, uh, uh, working and in a career or job and Amen. Hallelujah. Doing things that are satisfying to financially and spiritually and emotionally to you. There's nothing wrong with that. Amen. But in all that getting, get understanding. Know that God is in control of your life. That he is, amen, the alpha. He's omega. He's the first. He's the last. He which was, is, and is to come. He's the almighty God. Amen. He is our dwelling place. In him we live. We move. We have our being. We exist <clears throat> by the power of God. Return, O Lord, how long? 13 verse 8 and let it repent uh, thee concerning thy servants oh satisfy us early in with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days lord jesus wouldn't that be a blessing to rejoice and be glad all our days lord have mercy thank you jesus the 15th verse make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast aff afflicted us hallelujah and the years wherein we have seen evil let thy work appear unto thy service and thy glory unto thy, their children. And here's the key verse, the 17th verse, the closing verse. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish thou, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Hallelujah. It will be established because God is established. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. He is Alpha. He's Omega. He's he's the God of our salvation. He's the creator of the universe. He said, let that be. And the sun came into being and he separated the light from dark and the moon and the stars and he and, he, and the land from sea and the sky from earth. God did all that. He has been our doing. He created this heaven. He created the heavens and the earth. He put us in the Garden of Eden. Amen. He told us to tend to it. God don't need to breathe. Hallelujah. He don't have lungs that he need to breathe. He don't he don't have a man a system that needs nourishment and food. Hallelujah. So he put these plants here. He put the air here. He put this earth here for us. Hallelujah. He, he gave it for us to to enjoy, but to worship him. Amen. He is our dwelling place. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and, the, and they that dwell therein. The sooner we understand that. Amen. And start walking in relationship with God. Then we can have a better life because the life that he created was for us. Hallelujah. He, he made us in his image and his likeness. He made the God and he made the earth for us to dwell in the air to breathe, the water to drink, the food, the, everything he gave us. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything for us. Hallelujah. For his glory that we may honor him and say, thank you, Father. Thank you for what you provided. Thank you for, amen, man have set up roadblocks in religion and dogma, hallelujah, to interfere with what God is doing, amen. But we, thy people that know, and the sheep of thy pastor, amen, Psalm 79 will say, will we'll give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise through all generation, hallelujah. And so those that understand that God is our dwelling place, and he'll put his glory in us and rest in us and be a part of who we are, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And we are part of him. He said, if you abide in me, and my word abide in you. You can ask what you will and it shall be done. And we shouldn't be serving God for things. We shouldn't be serving God because of tricks. And, and the reason why a lot of us are going through a lot of problems and situations in our life is because it takes trial and tribulation to get you to call on God. Hallelujah. To get you to praise him and, and to pay attention and get a prayer. He won't hear a prayer from him except when you're eating or sleeping. And now I lay me down to sleep. Lord, bless this food we're about to receive. God want to hear from you. He's in relationship with you. Not just when you're eating and sleeping and, or when trial comes. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you praise him in the good times. Hallelujah. You praise him on the mountaintop. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He might give you some more mountaintops. Amen. If you need some mountaintops, you need some good days in your life. And whenever, whenever the next good day come along, give God praise for it. Matter of fact, every day that he give us, every morning that we wake up, we should be giving God praise, honor, and glory for the day. God, this is the day that you have made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. And I thank you for this day. No matter what. Amen. I might be homeless. I might be sick in the hospital. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to thank you for this day. Because it's your day. Thou has been, hallelujah, our dwelling place through all generations. Hallelujah, Lord God. We just thank the, the Lord today for the word of God. We thank God for the people of God. Those that are listening. Those that are viewing. And know that God is here with you. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. One thing have I desired of the Lord. And that will I seek after my, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. Hallelujah. And to inquire in his temple for I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord one thing hallelujah thank you Jesus have I desire of the Lord and I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue that he said seek peace and pursue it amen but I want to be in the presence of the Lord hallelujah in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore he's our dwelling place he's our home be it ever so humble there's no place like home Trust in God today. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. And the Bible says he will direct your path. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Amen. We just thank God for you today. Continue to pray for Agape and Pastor Fields and Amen. Pray for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And we, we bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to give God praise, honor, and glory. No matter what. He's been so good to me. He's been so merciful. He's been so kind that I got to give him praise. I got to give him honor. I got to give him glory. Hallelujah. Let's pray to the Lord today. God, we just thank you for this Tuesday, Lord God. We thank you for this day that you have made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad. And we thank you for the opportunity to share your word with your people, Lord God. Psalms 90, Lord God. And we, we pray that Lord God, they try to dwell here, they try to this house, they try this location. Lord God, where can I flee from your presence? Where can I go? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I can't leave you. If I make my bed and head you there, if I take the wings of the morning, fly into the utmost, lo thou art there. <clears throat> Lead and guide us, Lord God. Show us the right way to go. Lord God, and when we see the light walk in there and help us to walk therein and, and live the holy life before the Lord today and do what's pleasing in his sight. Lord God, bless the Lord, oh, our soul, and all that is within us. Help us to bless. Hey, God, thank you. Bless your holy name. We ask your blessings upon your people. Lord God, we, we, we send our hearts and minds out to those, amen, that died in the tragedy in France, Lord God, and tragedies all over the world. People are dying. Their name don't get called. They, nobody knows about them, Lord God, but they're in, they're in bereavement, Lord Jesus. We ask that the love of God, amen, permeate the hearts and minds of people all over the world. That we may know <clears throat> that God loves us no matter what the evil men do. We know, God, that you love us, Lord Jesus. And we, Lord God, help us to show love. And as you said in the book of Romans, the 12th chapter, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. And help us to show your love, the, the righteous love of God. Help us to accept you as your Lord and Savior. Let somebody get saved through this tragedy. Let someone walk with you, Lord God, be closer to you. Bless, touch, and deliver right now. Make a way out of no way. Open doors that seem closed. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah and amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for you today. Hallelujah. We thank God for those that are listening. Hallelujah. And we ask if anybody, amen, have, amen, amen, uh, need of a blessing or you want God to do something special for you, you let us know. You, you can write us. You can call us. Amen. Here at Agape. Amen. And we, we invite you to come visit us here. Amen. Every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock 
we we are getting into God's word. We're magnifying. We lifting up the name of the Lord. Amen. Every Tuesday at noonday is our noonday prayer, and we in prayer talking to God halfway through the day. We in our noonday prayer. Amen. Giving God praise, honor, and glory. Uh, every Wednesday night, Hallelujah, at seven p.m. is our Bible class. We in the Book of Numbers. Amen. Hallelujah. You can welcome to come out or Amen. Call into our conference line. And you can hear our Bible class Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock. Again, we worship in God Sunday evenings at three o'clock is our auxiliary services. So we have something going on here at Agape Worldwide Ministries. We want you to come out Sunday evening. We have an hour giving thanks at Thanksgiving service. Amen. At three o'clock. Amen. And we have uh, uh, Evangelist Joyce coming Sunday morning. Going to share the word of God with us here on Sunday morning. So we're looking forward to uh, hearing what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Here at Agape, and we look and have a hot time. We're grateful for what God is doing here at Agape. He's working the work. He's making a way out of the way. He's opening doors. The scene closed. I can honestly say, if you want to see the hand of God, if you want to want God to do something for you, Amen. Hallelujah. Stop by these doors. This, these doors are miracle doors. Amen. Hallelujah. God has been miracle. Amen. Provided miracles for His people. Amen. So many things I've seen God do. I don't have enough time to tell you what God has done for his people here at Agape Worldwide Ministry. So we're just grateful to the Lord. Amen. And it's not a not a commercial. We're just giving God thanks for what he has done. Amen. Hallelujah. Not bragging, not saying that God can't work anywhere else. God is universal. He's a sovereign God. God can move anywhere, any and anyhow. But I just happen to be the pastor of Agape Worldwide Ministries. And so that just happened. God called me to it. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, that's my job. Amen. Hallelujah. And so and I'm just grateful for what God has done. Amen. Our eight years here. Amen. In ministry. And so we just thank God for you today. Amen. Sit with us in prayer as we pray for you and pray for all those that are hungry, no food, no home to live in. Amen. Those in the hospitals. Amen. Minister Lloyd. Amen. Lewis. And we want to continue to pray for him. Amen. Sister Thelma Evans. Amen. And all those that we may not know of that's in the hospital, those that are recovering, amen, uh, Sister Sister Robinson who have knee surgery and recovering, amen, hallelujah, Sister Tina, we'll ask God to continue to bless her, amen, in the name of Jesus, and all those, amen, sick and shut in and bereaved, Lord, we just ask God's blessings upon you, amen, hallelujah, as we travel along. Our closing scripture, amen, coming from the book of First Timothy, amen, um, the first chapter and and always amen you always invited here to come to agape and allow the lord to to bless you amen to bless your life and uh, as god leads you amen plant a seed partner pray most of all pray for agape if you can't do anything else pray for agape amen and and, and plant a seed amen in the name of jesus it's fertile ground amen hallelujah uh first timothy the first chapter 17 verse says now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you.